Hey, God bless you. I have to make this video again because the sound wasn't working. I hate it when that happens. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement. I had an interesting dream last night and um, I have some thoughts about some, some uh, prophetic events soon coming. So the first thing is uh, in this this dream I had last night I was uh, I knew that there were three raptures coming there were three departures that were coming the first one in order to depart you had to be at this um, grape uh, field like at, at these grape vines it was going to be a grape harvest the second one was not very far away from that one. It was um, like pretty quick after that that one. It was just kind of a different path. And then there was a third one that uh, was way down the line. Like you were you were gonna have to go through some bad stuff before that one came. So, but there were three total. So, part of this dream is kind of a kind of a personal thing that I've talked about before and I'll explain it to you but God was just kind of showing me some things about it but um, in this dream in order to get to the the grape harvest field I had a car and I needed to take that that car to get there but there was a woman who appeared in my dream who was a witch and she acted really excited for the rapture like she um you know like like any believer that that knows it's coming she's she was really excited about it and i asked her i said well i don't understand why you're so excited you're a witch you're not going and at first she got a little bit angry for you know that i called her out but then she she kind of admitted it and she's like yeah um I'm just excited for the 150 and 150 refers to uh, the the amount of time the flood was on the earth right so it, it refers to judgment so it rained 40 days and 40 nights but but the totality of the timing the amount of time the flood was on the earth was 150 days so she was like I'm I'm really excited for the 150 um, and I could I could see in the dream because I, I could kind of see um, what her thoughts were. And she was thinking that the, that time would be a lot of fun for her. Like the things she liked to do would happen uh, during that time. So, you know, I, I, I kind of said to her, I, I was like, um, you know, even if you enjoy that time, it's not going to last very long. And then you're going to end up in hell and uh, you're going to have to spend an eternity there. And she she said something about how what she believed about hell was very different from what, what I believed about it. And she thought she would have some kind of special place. And she was totally deceived, right? She didn't, um, she didn't believe in, in a biblical hell. So, so she was, um, she was really excited for this time. I went to get in the car to take off to get to the place where I was going to depart. And I realized that one of my key, that, that my key was gone. So I couldn't start the car. It was gone. And I knew in the dream that this witch had, had hidden it or done something with it. Then she, she acted like she was, um, helping me and gave me a spare key she gave me a spare key and acted like like she was helping me and this was to further deceive me so that I would trust her but instead of trusting her and allowing her to go with me I took the key and jumped in the car and took off without her which is pretty much what happened in real life um you know she this witch tried to get me to trust her and then God revealed to me that she was a witch and I ended up in the end, um, you know, taking off in the vehicle without her and leaving her uh, behind. 
So God was just uh, explaining some questions that I had in regard to, you know, why she would do the things that she did and why she would go against him and that sort of thing. So he gave me a little peek into some of that. But what I think is probably interesting for a lot of you is the uh, the three departure times. I'm not the only one who has seen that. I know, I know Step Up was given a word about three departure times. I know the boy in Sweden uh, who had that really prophetic vision uh, was shown three separate departures. And there's others. Um, there's, I think, quite a few people who have seen that there's um there's more than one departure so the the other thing i wanted to talk about that i'm looking at now is i'm really excited about this peace plan that um is supposedly about to about to come out so I saw that the French president basically told Trump if he doesn't release his peace plan within the next month, uh, he's going to release his own. So that puts pressure on Trump to go ahead and and put it out uh, because he's not going to want somebody to upstage him, right? And a friend of mine sent me an article that um, talks about how Trump is likely to release it in the next week. I have thought for a long time, and I've shared this several times, that the peace plan is kind of the the final um, the final warning before we go. That it is, I think, the fulfillment of what Paul talked about when he said, "When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction will come upon them, and they will not escape." So. I believe that once that peace plan is launched, it's very shortly after that. Maybe I've had some dreams that might suggest that it's three days after that, although I could be interpreting those wrong. But either way, very shortly after that peace plan, I think will be when the rapture takes place um, because the rapture will be the beginning of sudden destruction. So I'm really excited to see that 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 peace plan is likely to be launched uh, maybe within the next week. So um, so that's another marker to look forward to. I also went back because I was thinking a lot about this Halloween dream that I had that kind of pointed to the Halloween time frame in which, you know, the there were a lot of numbers and symbology and um, or symbolism and things that that were in that dream that are interesting Uh, but I won't go through the whole thing right now Uh, but part of it part of this dream um, Satan was locked up in chains and he was talking to me and he was saying how he wanted to destroy me and and destroy God's children but he wasn't able to because he was locked up and he wouldn't be released until we were changed and once we were changed, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us. So he was really angry. And he said something about being released around Halloween. I was thinking uh, before that he had said that he would be released before Halloween or on Halloween. But I went back and, and listened to the dream again. And he said around Halloween. And I was also thinking about all of the dreams people have had over the past several years, I think at least three or four years, uh, about Thanksgiving being canceled. Uh, There's quite a few dreams you could probably find uh, still on YouTube where people were given the word that Thanksgiving was canceled or they were preparing for Thanksgiving and suddenly it wasn't going to happen. So I'm thinking that possibly what's being pointed to is this time frame between Halloween and Thanksgiving and it looks like it's within that time frame that the the peace plan may very well come out so um so those are just some some markers and some things that I'm looking at right now um I really think it's important to just keep watching and um keep our eyes on on this time frame on on the time now I, I think God likes that kind of urgency. He likes us to be on the edge of our seat. He likes us to believe that it's, that it's today, uh, every day. He likes us um, 
you know, really having faith that he could come any time now. So I encourage you not to start, and I know it's tempting because it's really difficult to wait on the edge of your seat. So a lot of times it's easier to start looking far out. But I encourage you not to start looking at 2019 or 2020 or, or 2030 or whatever people start looking at when they get tired. Um, I encourage you to just keep looking at the time right in front of you um, because we are really so close. So... God bless you all, and I plan to see you soon, uh, if not here, then in the air. Bye.